gathering up, but they actually catch up the first hero, and that's going to be the one key. Look at the RP on the background, onto two. Can they bring them in in time and get the damage off in time? We'll know there's a nice pass to follow up as well. It's going to allow Vega to unleash hell upon Windstrike as they go in deep, but Silent going to fight back on alongside ILTW. Non Grider getting low on HP. He's still got the Doom to work with, but he's stuck inside, getting low, getting low. Can't get the Doom off. Can't use it at all, in fact, but they don't really need it as they're going to be able to bring Jali down without it. Another win for Windstrike. It looked good. It looked good until it didn't. And now they bring down Spacey as well. Windstrike see this. Okay, Yules up. Bramble Maze down. Doom in some trouble here as the Bedlam's coming through. Ice Path as well. Going to keep him still. Non Grata doesn't stand a chance here. Split being used as well as Lil trying to get his way out of this one along with RTW. They just want to disengage at this stage. Split is used, so they want to get themselves out. Although they do have an RP potential. Real PL is caught inside. All pings out onto the Magnus, but they actually find the kill onto Spacey. And now they bring down Jani as well. LTW going to work. Guru off the split ends. He's naked and killed down in the middle of the wind strike. They lift up the Alchemist. I don't think they really want to go for this kill. Though. They'll toss him back into the middle of everybody, but RTW's getting a lot of damage done. And actually, the return kill comes in quick, but they do manage to kill up RTW. And actually, Lil just runs into this one. Also going to be taken down by GPK. Questionable plays from Windstrike. Meanwhile, ooh, Venge up on the high ground. Shrine is dead, but they might get the kill on the Rubik to start it off. The double damage is not enough to bring down Sobat, though. And now they'll just lift him up, take him down. In comes the RP, though. Glands onto two, bringing them right back under this tower. But GPK just popping that ultimate straight away. Now Gianni can pop the stone gaze as well. LTW, can he fight off it? He's actually frozen in front of the Medusa, but Medusa stunned up as well by ILTW. But ILTW dropping super low. The damage from Medusa is just too much. Manta dodge out, but doesn't actually work. Medusa stunned up and bought down. ILTW fighting on no health at all, even the Spirit Vessel isn't enough to keep him down. Do some serious work here. Lil running up the high ground here. This guy doesn't have buyback. He's going for the skewer back, but gets lifted up mid. Skewer, can he get the RP? He cannot. He's dead for 100 seconds. No buyback. RTW coming forward onto the high ground, doing the damage. Will be able to take down so bad. Now has to turn on Sensei Tazani with No Fear backing up as well. But who's going to win this with the roar coming in the back? But the swap comes in from No Fear. Doesn't matter though. Alakum is still dropping low. It's an ultra kill for Jani. It's everybody just trying. Here. LTW is running into the front lines here, just tanking up Medusa, running into her face. He doesn't have buyback here, he's got to be careful. The Omni Slash comes in on the back lines, just brings down so bad, but that's about it. And now another another Omni? Oh no, he just right click. Oh my god. Oh my god, the Omni Slash is an ending. It, it, it's going to bring down two. It's going to bring down three. Looking for more. The double swap into the RP. That, I've never seen that before. And now another RP comes out from Lilith. Only onto GPK. Can they find the damage in time? Doesn't look like they can bring GPK down. Now he's got to get that ultimate off. The roar also coming down. They just want to hold still the juggernaut. And they will be able to get that kill. And now they'll get the freebie on the side as well. Silent. They have so much to do on Windstrike. In they go up onto the high ground with the TP coming in as well. They'll be able to bring down Spacey quite quickly as well. GP Gachi pops the ultimate pretty early here, but there's the Omnitash coming down onto GPK. Oh my god, it's so fast. He's just gone in the middle of everything. So bad jumping in actually lands an RP onto Alchemist here as Zerv comes in the background, but he gets RP'd as well. Who's not getting RP'd right now as they swap the Alchemist to safety, but he's right in front of the Medusa. Is it really all that safe for the RP? Well, the skewer brings him away, and now with a back on full HP, they will be able to bring down Gianni. No 
fire back, and now Guren getting taken out as well. Will they be able to finish the job? Yes, they will. It's only a beast. And now GPK back into the fight, getting those further stacks coming too, but apparently just doing no damage at all to the Juggernaut.